Reference geometry is a very important feature you will need to use while designing. While designing, you may need to create your own plane to start a sketch, or to reference for a feature, otherwise it may be impossible to create a part you want to make. Reference geometry can also be used to make your design process more efficiently. There are four different reference geometry features, plane, axis, coordinate system, and point. You will likely use plane the most and use the axis and points every once in a while. Coordinate system will not be used very often, but can be useful for some things. First, let's talk about making a plane. A plane is a two-dimensional surface. It can be used to start a sketch or to be referenced in a feature, or it can be used to create more reference geometry features. To create a plane, you will need to go to Reference Geometry and click Plane. A menu pops up on the left and is asking what to use to reference. For now, click on the outside of the cylinder. We have just made this plane tangent to the cylinder, but now we need to specify another reference so it cannot be tangent everywhere on the cylinder. In the feature tree, click on the front plane to make it parallel to the plane. Finish the plane by clicking the green check mark. You can also specify the plane to be parallel, perpendicular, coincident, a specified distance from another plane, or be a midplane between two other specified planes. An axis is a straight line that you can create to assist you in a few different ways. You can use an axis to define another plane, use it as a mating feature, or use it to create features on your part. To create an axis, click on the drop down arrow from reference geometry and click on axis. It will show you the different ways you can define an axis. These include on a line or edge, the cross section between two planes, using two points or vertices, the center of a cylinder or circular face, and finally a point in a face or a plane. For this example, click on the cylinder and it will create an axis for you. Close the axis menu. Now I can show you how you can use planes and axes to define other planes. Create a new plane just like we did before, but this time click on the axis and the plane we created before. Now you can specify the angle at which you want the plane to be angled relative to the other plane and revolving around the other axis. Creating a point and a coordinate system uses the same concepts as the other reference geometry features, so I will not be demonstrating them in this video.